What's up guys, this is Kim from Einfach Machen. In this video I'd like to share with you some quick tips on error handling in Power Apps. I wish you great fun with that video. So before starting with our app, uh, first of all, why am I doing videos in English in the future? I think in the English language, of course, <laughs> our content might be more accessible to a broad audience. And uh, I think that everyone should have the opportunity to use these quick tips as we use them in our practice to learn more and more efficient. So that's basically why we're doing it in English in the future. The other question is, why am I doing a video on error handling in Power Apps? We often see apps in practice where people use the integrated error banner, for example, the Outlook connector, and we We've experienced that for a good user experience in a power app, it's better to get a more detailed view on the error so that the user, for example, can send a screenshot to the IT department or to the support department and get help with the app. First, we will have a look on error handling with the Outlook collector. After that, I will talk a bit about the difference between the first error and the all errors parameter. And after that, we will have a look on error handling using the patch function just that you you can see how it works for another function and that it's basically the same all the time. So let's start over with our app. Uh, the app is quite straightforward. We have uh, some kind of photo documentation power app. So we can enter a project name here, my new project for example. After that we can type in who's going to receive that email. So I'm entering my email address. And after that, the person has the opportunity to choose between camera uploads, so using the camera roll, the camera control in Power Apps, or using his gallery on the phone to upload the image. So we have some stock photos here that we could send over. And after sending this email, the user gets a notification that everything went right and that he can upload other photos and rate the app. What we want to have a look on now is how the app behaves when there's an error. For example, the Outlook connector throws an error. And for that, we're going to have a look on the, that code. So we use the if error function when sending our email via Outlook. And this is the basic behavior if there's an error with our function. So for this example, we're going to put blank for the receiver of the email so that the Outlook connector will throw an error and we will have a look on what happens. So when there's an error, we're setting a global variable, global error, and putting in this variable the first error argument that we can use in our if error function. After that, we will set global errors with an S and we will save all the errors given to us in this variable. And we will navigate to the error screen where the user gets the error notification, the error message. If there isn't an error, then we will set a loading variable we will clear a collection where we saved our photos and we will set the controls and navigate back to the success screen so that the user gets a notification that everything went right so let's have a look on what happens if I put the receiver to a blank value. And as you can see, there's a notification this time in German because this was for German company. But what we can see here now, define this global error variable and we've put our error message in this label so that the user gets a notification what happened wrong. And in this case, the error message is outlook sent email fail. The method sent mail has an invalid value for parameter two. So that value that we've set to blank and the user also gets a notification on which control this happened and get help with this and we've also set these global errors so in this case this is a table if we have multiple errors they will all be stored in this table in this case we only have one error because there's only the two parameter missing it's a blank value but we can scroll through this gallery and see all the errors so that's it basically for the outlook connector but let's also have a look on how we can do this using a sharepoint list when we want to patch a row so it's basically the same we're doing a patch and creating a new row with our defaults and after that we set values for the title the project and the email color let's have a look on this if it's working properly and we can see that the row was created everything went fine we didn't have an error so let's have a look on it how it works when we have an error 
So in this case, we would just set the title column to blank. And because we've defined that column as required, as you can see in my list, title is a required column as well as project and email. The app should give us an error. So the if error function should jump into this part of the function and again, save the global error as a variable with the first error and all the errors in our global errors variable. Have a look on this. And as you can see, we've again got the error message. And in this case, the message is a bit different network error when using patch function filed title is required. And again, our user has some kind of clue what might have went wrong. And also people who would help our user with this problem could help them because they have a more detailed notification about this and not this banner that is disappearing after some seconds. And again, we can see the control in which the error was observed. So that's it basically. Please do error handling in your apps. I think it's uh, not good practice to give your user not a feedback what's happening in the app or what went wrong in the app. I hope you find this video helpful and see you next time.